വേവ് മോശം വേവ് മോശം ഇസ് ദ സ്പ്രെഡിംഗ് ഓഫ് ഡിസ്റ്റർബൻസ് കോസ്ഡ് അറ്റ് വൺ പോർഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ മീഡിയം ടു അതർ പോർഷൻസ് ഡ്യൂ ടു പാർട്ടിക്കൾ വൈബ്രേഷൻസ് here water is a medium the vibration of water molecules bear reason for the generation of ripples that we see on the surface of water here the energy provided at a particular portion of the medium spreads to other portions through wave motion but there is no displacement of particles in this portion particles of media vibrate when energy is provided this phenomenon takes place irrespective of the nature of media that is in solids liquids and gases the vibration may take place in directions perpendicular or parallel to the motion of waves waves are classified primarily in the mechanical and electromagnetic waves Mechanical waves do need media to travel. Radio waves, light, etc. travel without the need of a medium, even through vacuum. Electromagnetic waves are associated with electric and magnetic fields. Based on the difference in vibrations of particles, mechanical waves are classified into two. when particles of medium vibrate in directions perpendicular to the direction of propagation of waves then the waves generated are transverse waves this is the perpendicular vibration of particles of medium due to transverse waves the raised portion of the wave is called crest and the depression is called trough of the wave The distance between two adjacent crests is called wavelength of the wave. This is equal to the distance between two adjacent troughs. In short, the distance between two particles in the same state of vibration is called wavelength. It is represented by the Greek letter lambda. Amplitude of the wave is the maximum displacement of a particle from equilibrium position. When a paper board is tossed up and down in water waves, it does not move forward but moves along with water molecules. This shows that the particles of media, here water, vibrate in direction perpendicular to direction of propagation of waves this is the reason for the up and down movement of the paper board we can see that the most important feature of transverse waves is the perpendicular vibration of particles to the direction of propagation of waves now we can explain the characteristic features of propagation of sound waves water waves etc there are some features attributed to waves in their propagation they are amplitude wavelength frequency etc amplitude is defined as the maximum perpendicular height of crest or depth of trough amplitude is the displacement caused by vibration of particles at central position the number of vibrations suffered by particles of media per unit second frequency is denoted by f frequency is equal to number of vibrations divided by time for example if the number of vibrations executed by the particles of media is 100 in 10 seconds then the frequency equals n divided by t here n equals 100 t equals 10 second f equals 
hundred divided by ten, that is equal to ten hertz. The SI unit of frequency is hertz. Here the frequency equals ten hertz. Speed of wave is the distance traveled by wave in one second. If F equals one hertz, D equals one lambda. If F equals two hertz, D equals two lambda. If F equals three hertz, D equals three lambda. This means that V is equal to F lambda. Unit of speed is meter per second. Frequency and wavelength are inversely proportional to each other. This can be proved by comparing the frequencies of waves with higher and lower wavelengths. Let's consider the frequencies of two waves having wavelengths 4 meter and 2 meter. If three vibrations are executed in 0.25 seconds in the first wave, the frequency is obtained as 12 hertz. The frequency of second wave is 24 hertz. For a wave with 4 meter wavelength, frequency equals 12 hertz. And for the wave with 2 meter wavelength, the frequency is 24 hertz. When frequency increases, wavelength decreases. Longitudinal waves. Now let's consider the second type of waves the longitudinal waves. Here, particles of the medium vibrates parallel to the direction of propagation of waves. Waves Transverse waves Longitudinal waves Factors which affect propagation of waves are density, temperature, pressure, behavior of medium, etc. Transverse waves. Particles of medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation of waves. Longitudinal waves. Particles of medium vibrate parallel to the direction of propagation of waves. Crests and troughs are formed. High pressure and low pressure areas are formed. Formed on the surface of solid and liquid substances formed on all media. Seismic waves formed due to earthquakes are examples for longitudinal waves. Waves caused by the vibration of tuning forks also belong to this category. High pressure and low pressure origins are formed instead of crests and troughs. Sound. We know that sound is heard. Sounds are produced with varying intensities from low intensity to high intensity. The sound that is produced from the source reaches us by traveling in the form of waves. We know that sound needs medium to travel. Sound travels with different velocities in solid, liquid, and gaseous media. The speed of sound is influenced by density, temperature, pressure, etc. of media. If the frequency of a wave with wavelength 1 meter is 90 hertz, then the speed of wave is V equals F lambda equal to 90 into 1 equals 90 meter per second. Loudness. This property can be measured by decibels. Pitch. This property is based on frequency. Quality. Quality is determined by comparing two sounds. Intensity. The measure of sound energy falling perpendicular to unit surface area at unit time is the intensity of sound. Unit of intensity is 
watt per meter squared. Tuning forks with 256 hertz and 512 hertz frequencies are subjected to vibration. Now we can notice the difference in sound produced. Difference is noticed when vibrations take place at their natural frequencies. The tuning fork is placed on the table while vibrating. The surface of the table is also forced to vibrate. The sound heard is louder than that heard while the tuning fork is vibrating alone. The sound increases proportionally because the surface area of the table is big. The surface of table vibrates with same frequency as the tuning fork. This property is known as forced vibration. If the frequency of tuning fork vibration is 512 Hz, then surface of table also vibrates with 512 Hz frequency. Surface of the table is also forced to vibrate irrespective of the natural frequency of the table. C. These instruments are played according to the principle of forced vibrations. The vibrations induced on the surface of drum will spread to the edges and to the entire body, inducing vibrations with same frequency. The vibration spreads throughout the strings of guitar or vena. These are examples of forced vibrations. Now let's see resonance. When the natural frequency of an object in vibration is equal to the frequency of the object forcing it to vibrate, then the two objects are said to be in resonance. The stem of a vibrating tuning fork is placed on the sonometer. The length of bridge between strings are adjusted. A folded piece of paper placed on the string vibrates and when a particular length of bridge is attained, it flies off. This happens when the amplitude of vibrating string becomes maximum. The intensity of sound also increases and becomes maximum. The increase in amplitude increases the sound. This happens during resonance. A tuning fork of 256 Hz is made to vibrate over a water-filled beaker with a tube in it containing water to the same level. If the tube is raised, voice heard will become louder gradually. When the natural frequency of tuning fork and air column is equal, they are said to be in resonance. Now, the loudness increases due to the increase in the amplitude. Resonance is obtained when the natural frequency of fork and natural frequency of air column becomes equal. The amplitude of air column becomes maximum, which causes the sound to become maximum. We have experienced the vibration of windows after thunder is heard, after lightning. The sound waves of thunder make the air particles vibrate, which in turn force the window pane to vibrate with larger amplitude. This is an example for resonance. Speed of sound differs from one medium to another. One of the reasons for this is the difference in the density of the medium. Medium, solid, aluminium. Speed in meter per second, 6420. Steel, 5941. Medium liquid, pure water, 1482. Seawater, 1522. Medium gas, air, 343. Helium, 965 meter per second. 
Reflection. Reflection of sound is the phenomenon by which sound is reflected back after striking walls or other closed objects. Sound in a closed room repeatedly gets reflected from one wall to another. This is repeated reflection. The clarity of sound is lost due to this phenomenon. Sound suffers reflection before it reaches the listener. Megaphones and other instruments are used to preserve the clarity of sound. Soldiers break march when they cross a bridge. They march again when the bridge is crossed. The bridge will be led to forced vibrations which will increase the amplitude of vibration. This will cause the bridge to weaken. If the two vibrations happen at the same frequency, the amplitude of vibration of bridge will become maximum and it will break. That is why the soldiers break steps when they approach bridges. Stethoscope Stethoscope helps the doctor to detect vibrations in the body, especially heartbeats. Even though heartbeat sound are subjected to reflection, they reach the ears clearly through a closed tube of the stethoscope. Echo Reflection causes sound to be heard after the actual sound ceases to be heard. Hello. This phenomenon is called as echo. Hello. The sound heard due to reflection one tenth seconds Hello. after the actual sound Hello. is emitted can be heard clearly. Hello. The reason is that Hello. sound stays Hello. in the eardrum of a listener Hello. one tenth seconds after it is heard. If the reflection is to be heard clearly, Hello. it should be heard after one tenth second. Hello. Persistence of audibility. The sensation of hearing produced by a sound is retained for a period of one tenth of a second. This characteristic property of the ears is known as persistence of audibility. If another sound reaches the ear within one tenth of a second simultaneously, hearing of both the sounds are experienced. Another important factor is that the distance between source and reflecting surface should be 17 meter or more. Speed of sound in air is equal to 340 meter per second. Time of stay is 1 tenth second. D equals VT. Distance of traveling equals 340 into 1 by 10 equals 34 meter. Distance between source and surface equals 34 by 2 equals 17 meters. A bat emits sound waves with frequencies greater than 20 kilohertz. The waves get reflected after striking obstacles and are received by auditory receptors. This enables the bats to fly without bumping into obstacles. Reverberation If the reflected sounds are heard in lesser time than one tenth second, then their overlapping will make hearing impossible. The voices will get muffled. How much distance should exist between source and reflecting surface underwater if echo is to be heard? D equals VT. Speed of sound in water is 1482 meter per second. If the time of persistence of sound, that is 1 by 10 seconds, is considered, then distance equals 1482 into 1 divided by 10 equals 148.2 meters. The distance between source and surface is 148.2 divided by 2 equals 74.1 meter. A 
Acoustics Acoustics of buildings is the branch of science that deals with the conditions to be fulfilled in the construction of a building for clear audibility. Reflection is minimized to avoid reverberation and to ensure clarity by adopting practices like roughening the surface of walls, increasing the number of doors and windows, creating wooden paneling on walls and ceilings. Curtains are introduced with rough cloth material and even the length and width of halls are set to avoid reflection. Seismic waves Seismic waves are those waves which travel through tectonic plates as a result of earthquake, volcanic eruption, etc. The origin of earthquakes forms the source of seismic waves. The amplitude of these dangerous waves determine the magnitude or intensity of earthquakes. Instruments like seismograph, hydrophone, etc. are used for measuring and recording the magnitude of earthquakes. The branch of science governing the study of seismic waves is termed as seismology. The scientists are known as seismologists. Every organism except humans can recognize these distinctive waves and they tend to escape before the crisis. They can easily sense these dangerous phenomenon in advance. They have the ability to sense minute changes and difference in nature. Scientific studies have proven these facts. Using wave motion, we can study different properties like wave frequency, wavelength and speed of waves.